What's up guys, my name is Dark Chronic Ghost here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be showing you the weekly update for June 12, 2018. I didn't forget what day it is, but uh, today is going to be the end of the first faction rally of this season. I think I loaded in too early to see who won. I would assume it's Dead Orbit considering there's, you know, a Dead Orbit person standing right in front of me. But uh, there's a lot of cool weekly update things I can show off and then right after I finish the regular stuff, I'm going to just try to see if I can reload the area and perhaps even see who won and all that. And of course, uh, if if, if Dead Orbit did win, they have a shotgun um, as their award. If you did not pick the winning team, it's only 50,000 Glimmer instead of 1,000, so you can still get it if you do want it. So first up, we have the uh, Flashpoint, which is going to be the, on the EDZ. So again, the Flashpoint as well as Cade's map are both on the EDZ, so go ahead and go do that. The Nightfall this week is the first time Will of the Thousands, pretty sure anyways, uh, the one with the big worm at the end. The, this unique Nightfall, I have no idea what it is since it's never happened before, um, but uh, keep an eye on the top comment, the pinned comment of this video. I'll try to update it with whatever the unique is whenever I figure it out. Moving over to Crucible, the weekly is going to be Rumble. Rumble also counts for the Valor. Uh, yes, Valor. So if you want to get some of that orange rank and not the red one, you can go ahead and go into Rumble. I suck at Rumble, so I just... Honestly, I just don't care. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Tess Evers to see what she's got. I'm excited. Um, I can't wait to use my Prismatic Matrix. I think I missed one week and I'm always one behind or something. Uh, so as far as everything goes, Odd Dance is one that looks very, very silly. Um, I actually recommend this one. This is one of those... Um, you can't go wrong with a dance like this, I gotta be honest. Um, I don't have it, but, uh, well, you know, we'll have to see and whatever. Uh, we still got 150s. If you wanted to get the Hornblown Splint, it is here. Nothing really too bad, big and important. Uh, you got the leg armor. You got the Vigilance Wing, Rat King stuff. Uh, Rat King has never looked good, so don't worry about that. Everything else, not really a big fan of. Uh, except for Fermius Blue, looks good on some items, like uh, different weapons, maybe pieces of armor. Um, and then, of course, Arctic Pearl, maybe. But overall, I would just ignore the rest of it. It's not really that important. Ooh, what's this? Deep Freeze bo bonus. All right, so we got... Uh, if you want to get the Azura Zazel, uh, Fireworks, and some Fermius Blue, which is a decent thing, it's going to be uh, 1500 Silver, which I think I think 11 is $10, so that's like $15 for this. Don't don't buy this. <laughs> don't do not do that. That doesn't sound right, uh, worth it. Anyways, moving into here, there's only one thing that I haven't gone yet, and it's going to be the uh, uh, Titan Ornament for the Dune Marchers. Actually, something that I would be very interested in, because... I use the Dune Marchers pretty often. I don't remember what they look like, but they look these look nice. Look at this lights in the back. That's nice. You know what? I think I'm think I'm just gonna grab it. You know what? I got I it. Boom. A lot of exotics this week. You got the lucky pants, you got Dune Marchers, you got the crown uh, tempest, uh, you've got the Shadow Trespass. Don't particularly like this uh, ship, doesn't look particularly good. And then everything else, uh, 150 sparrows, uh, ghost Hellas Basin. Wow, okay. That's a that's a good ghost. I wish I got that one. I did not. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Uh, all you have to do to get one of these charges is to uh, get a single bright engram, which is one of these uh, in a week. Um, you know, naturally, not uh, not buying one, and you'll be able to get it. I'm gonna go ahead over to Benedict, and I'll be right back after I do. By the way, I just wanted to mention, what do you guys think of the new armor piece? This is my Sentinel set. If I wanted to do Sentinel-based uh, discoveries and whatnot, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, for any time I use a Sentinel, I just I make separate armor sets for all the, the all the different you know subclasses just so I can have all the benefits. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about Benedict. I just wanted to be like, hey, look, a new thing. I spent a lot of masterwork on it. Uh, anyway, so his stock here, we've got the Prestige Head, Arms, and Chest. If you wanted uh, these, you have to complete that specific... Um, activity and difficulty on this reset you have spires of stars legs and the mark and of course you have the sword which is terrible and don't even bother with it the only things you should worry about weapon wise again is midnight coup the hand cannon and an inaugural dress the pulse rifle everything else is i gotta be honest kind of trash um anyways that's pretty much it for him i'm gonna go see what's going on with the faction rallies and i'll be right back after that uh, after these short messages from all sponsors buy some soap well, 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 what do you know? Dead Orbit won this one. What a surprise. See, now I thought New Monarchy was gonna win. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it was pretty obvious that Dead Orbit's gonna win now. However, uh, a lot of people were not able to make it to 50. I did, I barely made it to 50 and I gave up basically after I did because it was a whole lot of farming. Not everybody made it to 50. I wouldn't be surprised to see Dead Orbit win all three times this season, like three in a row. 
Now, however, I will not be picking Dead Orbit on the second and third time. I'll be trying to spread out as much as I can to get all of the catalysts, as well as some other people. But not everybody w was able to get on the last week. Not everybody was able to finish off Dead Orbit last week. So I assume that Dead Orbit will still have quite some power when it comes to winning. They may not win. I could be wrong, but uh, I think they might. Also, just in case somebody has some questions about the armor, most of my armor is going to be the Bray Tech one. This is straight from uh, Ana Bray if you want to get it. The helmet, however, is going to be the Exodus Down, which is the Nessus planet. Go to Failsafe, and that's her armor set. I decided to go with this rather than the regular head because I really wanted this like ODSD style helmet, and I, I didn't know where to put it. I think it looks good. Look at it. It's, uh, it's cool there is. Yeah. And also, black just looks good on. Every Titan armor. All right, so over here at Halal, uh, we did get the win, and we were pledged to the correct faction, so we're able to buy it for cheaper. The Basilisk has a masterwork of handling. Um, I, I'm kind of surprised it guarantees the handling. I have no idea how this gun is, is used. I, I just, you know, I'm gonna get it because it's free masterwork. I can turn into some shards if I really want to. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that seems to be it. Uh, if you did not pledge to uh, Dead Orbit, you can still buy it for 50,000 Glimmer. And, um, yeah, this weapon, I guess you could have, you know, looked at it when it was there, so you don't really need to look at it when it's here. But, oh, wow, okay, range and reload, much better options there. But, yeah, um, not really much more to say about this. I got the weapon, the thing's over, there's not much uh, more to do in here, and, yeah, that's, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope to see you guys in the next faction rally, hopefully with the new monarchy win, hopefully. So that's where I'm going next, <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye! Time to put an angry comment on Bechronic's video. He forgot to do that one thing he always forgets to do. That's right, that'll show him.